Hi, all my LGBT friends and others. Um, I'm doing ch Exodus chapter 28. I, somehow I skipped it, so I need to read it because at the end I was like thinking, did I read that about the breastplate? And I thought, no, I, I somehow I missed it. So anyway, okay, so I'm going to read it, all right? Okay, so Aaron and his son separate for the priest's office, the ephod, the urim, and thermonim, the plate of the mitre, etc. Okay, this is kind of interesting stuff. All right, anyway. And take thou unto thee Aaron thy brother and his sons with him from among the children of Israel, that he may minister unto me, in the priest's office, even Aaron, Nadab, Abinu, Eleazar, and Ithamar, Aaron's sons. Okay, and thou shalt make holy garments for Aaron thy brother, for glory and for beauty. And thou shalt speak unto all that are wise-hearted, whom I have filled with the spirit of wisdom, that they may make Aaron's garments to consecrate him, and he may minister unto me in the priest's office. And these are the garments which they shall make in a breastplate, in an ephod, in a robe, a bordered coat, a mitre, and a girdle. And they shall make holy garments for Aaron thy brother and his sons, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. And they shall take gold and blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen. They shall make of the ephod of gold of blue and a purple of scarlet and fine twine linen with cunning work. And it shall have two shoulder pieces thereof joined at the two edges thereof, so it shall be joined together. And the curious girdle of the ephod, which is upon it, shall be of the same according to the work thereof, even of gold of blue and purple, scarlet, fine twine linen. And thou shalt take two onyx stones and grave on them the names of the children of Israel. Wow, okay. Six of their names on one stone and the other six names on the rest of the other stone according to their birth. With the work of the engraver in stone, like the engravings of a singlet, Shalt thou engrave the two stones with the names of the children of Israel, and thou shalt make them to be set in ouches of gold. And thou shalt put the two stones upon the shoulders of the ephod for stones of memorial unto the children of Israel. And Aaron shall bear their names before the Lord upon his two shoulders for a memorial. And thou shalt make ouches of gold and two chains of pure gold at the ends of a wreathen work shall thou make them and fasten the wreathen chains to the ouches and thou shalt make the breastplate of judgment with cunning work after the work of the ephod thou shalt make it of gold of blue of gold, of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, and of twine linen, thou shalt make it. Four square it shall be being doubled. A span shall be the length thereof, and a span shall be the breadth thereof. And thou shalt set it in the settings of stones, even four rows of stones. The first row shall be a sardis, a topaz, and a carbuncle. And this shall be the first row. The second row shall be of emerald, sapphire, and diamond. And the third row, a liqueur, an agate, and an amethyst. And the fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and jasper. And they shall be set in gold in their enclosings. And the stone shall be with the names of the children of Israel, twelve, according to their names, like the engravings of the siglet, signet, every one with his name shall be according to the twelve tribes. And thou shalt make upon the breastplate chains at the ends of the wreathen work of pure gold. And
and thou shalt make upon the breastplate two rings of gold, and shalt put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. And thou shalt put the two wreathen chains of gold in the two rings which are on the ends of the breastplate. And the other two ends and the, and the two wreathen chains thou shalt fasten in the two ouches and put them in the shoulder pieces of the epod before it. And thou shalt make two rings of gold and thou shalt put them upon the two ends of the breastplate in the border thereof, which is in the side of the epod inward. And the two other rings of gold thou shalt make and shall put them on the two sides of the epod underneath toward and four part thereof over against the other coupling thereof above the curious girdle of the epod. And, and they shall bind the breastplate by the rings thereof and to the rings of the epod with a lace of blue, and it may be above the curious girdle of the epod, and the breastplate be not loosened from the epod. And Aaron shall bear the names of the children of Israel in the breastplate of the judgment upon his heart, when he goeth into the holy place for memorial before the Lord continually. And thou shalt put the breastplate of judgment, the Urim and the Thurim, and they shall be upon Aaron's heart when he goeth in before the Lord. And Aaron shall bear the judgment of the children of Israel upon his heart before the Lord continually. Wow. And thou shalt make the robe of the epod all of blue. And there shall be a hole in the top of it in the midst there. Of, and it shall have a binding of woven work around about the whole of it, as if it were the whole of a habergon, that it be not rent or torn. And beneath upon the hem of it thou shalt make pomegranates of blue and of purple and of scarlet round about the hem thereof, and the bells of gold between them round about. A golden bell and a pomegranate, a golden bell and a pomegranate upon the hem of the robe round about. And it shall be upon Aaron to minister, and his sound shall be heard when he goeth into the holy place before the Lord, and when he cometh out, that he die not. And thou shalt make a plate of pure gold and a grave upon it, like the engravings of a sing single net, holiness to the Lord. That's the engraving. Holiness to the Lord. And thou shalt put it on a blue lace, that it may be upon the mitre, upon the forefront of the mitre it shall be, and it shall be upon Aaron's forehead, that Aaron may bear the iniquity of, of the holy things which the children of Israel shall hallow in all their holy gifts, and it shall be always upon his forehead that may be accepted before the Lord. And thou shalt embroider the coat of the fine linen, and thou shalt make the mitre of the fine linen, and thou shalt make the girdle of the needlework. And for Aaron's sons thou shalt make coats, and thou shalt make them for girdles and Bondlets shalt thou make for them, for the glory and for beauty. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron thy brother and his sons with him, and shalt anoint them and consecrate them and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. Thou shalt make them linen breeches to cover their nakedness. From the loins even to the thighs they shall be reached, and they shall be upon Aaron and upon his sons when they come in to the tabernacle of the congregation, or when they come near unto the altar to minister in the holy place, that they bear not iniquity and die. It shall be a statute forever unto him and his seed after him. And that's chapter 28. So let me see if I...
can go into chapter 30 here now. Um, let's see how, how long is it? Okay, 30. Okay, let's try it. Um, let's see if I have enough time. Okay, in the altar of incense, the ransom of souls, the brazen lever, the holy anointing oil, the composition of the perfume. Okay, and thou shalt make an altar to burnt incense upon of shittim wood, shalt thou make it. A cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit in the breadth thereof. Four squares shall it be, and two cubits shall it be the height thereof, the horns thereof shall be of the same. And thou shalt overlay with pure gold the top thereof, the sides thereof round about, the horns thereof, and thou shalt make it into the crown of gold round about. And the two golden rings shalt thou make it under the crown of it, by the two corners thereof, upon the two sides of it shalt thou make it, and thou shalt be for places for the staves to bear it, Withal, and thou shalt make the staves of shittim wood and overlay them with gold, and thou shalt put it before the veil that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony, where I will meet with thee. And Aaron shall burn thereon sweet incense every morning, and when he dresses the lamps, he shall burn incense upon it. And when Aaron lighteth the lamps at eve, he shall burn incense upon it a perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. You shall offer no stranger, no strange incense thereon, nor burnt sacrifice, nor meat offering, neither shall you pour drink offering thereon. And Aaron shall make an atonement upon the horns of it once in a year with blood of the sin offering of atonements. Once in the year shall he make atonement upon it throughout your generations. It is most holy unto the Lord, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, When thou takest the sum of the children of Israel after their number, they shall give every man a ransom for his soul unto the Lord. And when thou numbest them, they numberest them, thou, they, <laughs> that there be no plague among them when thou numberest them. They shall give every one that passed among them that are numbered half a shekel after the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is twenty garaz. Half a shekel shall be the offering of the Lord. Every one that passes among them that are numbered from twenty years old and above shall give an offering unto the Lord. The rich shall not give more, the poor shall not give less than half a shekel when they give an offering unto the Lord to make an atonement for your souls. And thou shalt take the atonement money of the children of Israel and shall appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. And it may be a memorial unto the children of Israel before the Lord to make an atonement for your souls. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Thou shalt also make a lever of brass, and his foot also of brass to wash wherewithal, and thou shalt put it between the tabernacle of the congregation and the altar, and thou shalt put water therein. For Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands and their feet therein. They shall go into the tabernacle of the congregation, they shall wash with water, that they die not, or when they come near to the altar to minister, to burnt offerings made by fire unto the Lord. I'm going to stop right here. Yeah, because I won't have uh, the ability to finish up this. And let me start another uh, video, okay? All right, so we're stopping at verse uh, 20. And I'll start with 21 on the next one. Okay, thanks, guys.